so here's the underneath the the Camden table we just printed out. Sheesh, and then Bob's just gonna Typically, see what he recommends on the end because it's gonna move so much. We'd need the the bigger expansion washers. You know, going across here. And usually these are not tied onto this. If you were looking at the end, you would have your your end rail. And then another piece bigger here. Obviously these are much longer. And this piece is the piece that you'd have the washer in because this has to be about an inch and a half. These are about an inch, inch and a quarter. Right. The number 14 washers. Just the two sizes, number 14 and number 10. And on a table, on a big table, you want, because we're seeing over half an inch move, three quarter of an inch on some. The other thing you might want to consider is this end rail. Have Bring it in, like here you've got about maybe a, an inch or inch and a half there. Bring this in more because what's happening is the tabletop shrinking so much that this end rail is going to protrude past the end of the table. So you might have to have at least an inch and a half out on the end here. Tabletop extending past this end rail. Okay. Like that 10 footer mm -hmm. is just about coming over. It's got right. another quarter inch and then <laughs> we centered as much as we could. Right. Do you want to talk about how you would pin it in the middle there? Or? Yeah, here you've got the expansions. Okay. There's no problem pinning it right in the middle. You can have this screw go right to the tabletop. This one, this one, this one. And allow both ends to come in as it's shrinking. Okay, and can you, sorry, can you show where you would pin it again? Pin it right across the middle. Mm -hmm. You can put a screw there, one there, one there, one there, into the tabletop. You don't need these expansion ones here. And then let it come in from both ends. The middle will stay, stay firm. Okay. 